This couch is very horny. When a woman sits on it, it turns on the massage. If a man comes near, he'll reach out with an iron hook and kill him, and it knows how to destroy the body afterward. Lily was a beautiful dancer. She had many suitors. One of them was David. In order to get Lily, he had his legs sawed off and perform an evil ritual and sealed her soul in a couch. Within a few days, the couch was brought home by Lily's boyfriend. At night, Lily was taking a bath. A pair of eyes peeked into the bathroom. Lily felt like someone was watching her, but she didn't see anyone. After the bath, she was ready to relax. She just laid down on the sofa and started massaging. The sofa was really comfortable. The next day, she woke up to a lovey of a breakfast on the couch. Lily thought her boyfriend had prepared it. She went up to him and gave him a kiss. The couch was furious, so he took advantage of Lily's absence. When Lily wasn't there, he gave his boyfriend a hard time. When Lily came home with the police, Lily came home with the police and saw him hiding in the bathtub in pain. That day, the boyfriend got up to take his pills. He heard someone knocking on the window. He opened the window and looked down. It was the couch. He was shocked. He tried to close the window, but the couch blocked his way. He fell to the ground. Then the couch climbed in through the window. And then the couch climbed in through the window and delivered the coup GRC with an iron hook. Lily woke up to find her clothes missing from the house. She also saw a figure hiding in the corner. Lily woke up with a start. It was just a dream. But then there was a noise in the living room. She was brave enough to see the couch move. <coughs> Lily was too scared to sleep. Her best friend came to get her. They didn't realize the couch was staring at them. The next day, Jack, Lily's suitor, snuck into the house when she wasn't home. Jack, Lily's suitor, sneaked into the house when she wasn't home and installed a camera in the alarm. Then he tested it to his satisfaction. But little did he know, the couch was watching his every move. Jack went to the bedroom. Jack went to the bedroom, put his underwear on the bed, pulled the covers over his head, and shook his head in excitement. Then the couch showed up, grabbed the iron and hit him over the head. Jack died. At night, his girlfriend came over to Lily's to pick up some stuff. When she walked in the door, she saw Jack dead. She was so shocked that she covered her mouth. She saw the sofa disposing of Jack's body. She was so scared that she stepped back and stepped on a clamp. When the sofa found her, she wanted to run away, but the sofa closed the door before her. In a panic, she ran into the toilet, and the sofa stood outside. He watched her through the keyhole, and she had to escape through the window to stay alive, but she fell into the trash can. Seeing that her best friend had come back, Lily returned home with the police. She dialed her girlfriend's number. She heard the ringing outside the window. The police came downstairs and saw Jack's body. Lily was shocked when a strange noise came from behind her. This couch has become a ghost. It slowly stood up and walked towards Lily one step at a time. Lily was finally enraged and went crazy. Pouring gasoline, Lily was finally enraged and frantically poured gasoline on the couch. Ready to set it on fire, she lit one on fire and blew one out. Lily was screaming in desperation and despair. Lily saw the couch approaching and there was no way back. At that moment, the police showed up just in time. They shot the couch dead. It turned out that the couch was hiding a faceless man who was David. Lily locked herself in the bathroom and tried to calm herself down with drugs. Suddenly a hand came out from the door and dragged Lily in. When she came out, Lily was calm, as if nothing had happened. But in reality, her body had been taken over by another spirit. On this day, Lily dressed up very beautifully. She invited the police to her home. She poured a cup of tea. I didn't realize that after two sips, he found it hard to breathe. His body fell to the ground uncontrollably. The next moment, the spirit in the sofa instantly into the body of the police officers. The two evil spirits successfully returned to the police officer's body. When my best friend saw this, immediately went upstairs to Lily's room. She found a figure flickering in the buttons of the sofa. At a closer look, it was Lily who was pulled into the darkness. 